All right, so we're out here today doing a uh, rollover on a unibody car with the Ruckmaster roll pull. Just kind of showing you guys how we have this set up. So we just have the chain wrapped around the front A-arm and the same on the back. And that comes up to the roll pull right here. Use a sister hook to put into the chain here and your hook goes into that. And what you're trying to do is essentially arm wrestle this thing over with cars as you all know especially from snow or ice they like to uh, spin they don't just come over perfectly so if you don't know what this does is it puts pressure in the front and you want to do it on the the engine side and it arm wrestles it over it puts leverage at a downward pressure and brings it over and when you stand back you when you look where your snatch blocks is you want to make sure it's perfectly in line with that roll pull and then it should come right over. When you line your truck up, you wanna make sure your bed is in line with the casualty, and that way it won't spin. If you're too cockeyed one way or the other, it's gonna kinda of spin on you. But uh, we'll go ahead and start winching. You'll see how this thing won't move at all, and it uh, will just come right over. So we'll go ahead and wire in. And you wanna go slow, you don't wanna go fast. You want torque, not horsepower. And you'll see how the car just comes right over without any spinning. This works amazing on snow and ice. That way it doesn't ever roll or spin on you. Now this one's missing a, a wheel. So you see it came over on the whole thing. Usually when there's a wheel there, it's gonna stop on its side and then you continue on over. This one, being that that wheel's completely gone, it just went ahead and came all the way over. Usually it uh, comes on its side, then you take your roll pull off, your sister hook, and then you just chain to that front A-arm and bring it on over. All right, I reset it here because I wanted people to show when it's on its side too. I'm sure most of you already know how to do this. It's really easy once you get it to their side, but I went ahead and set it back up. You see we're leaking some more oil. I drained all the oil, but we still have some leaking. I'll go ahead and get that cleaned up with more floor dry. Um, but all you're gonna do is uh, obviously remove your roll pole. You can put that back in your truck, and then you're just gonna take this one off and uh, take your sister off. And then what I do is I like to drag the chain out to about here. That way when the car comes over, it doesn't run over your chain. Then you can get under and take the chain off. I'll go ahead and set that up really quick. This is how, what you do once you get it to the side. And like again, most vehicles are gonna do this before they just come all the way over like this one does. That one's missing a wheel, so that's why it just went ahead and came all the way over. But I just move my chain out like this, so when it comes over, the tire's not going over, it's easy to get it, you can see it. Then you just get over and take your chain off. Again, this roll pole is only for unibody cars. Um, you don't wanna use it on SUVs, pickups, something with a frame, they're too heavy. Um, and usually you don't need a roll pole because they're so heavy they just come over on their own, but you'll break the roll pole. They're only rated for unibody cars like this. But this is the easy part. Once you have it to your side, it's a piece of cake. As I'm sure you all know, all you're gonna do is go ahead and wire in and it just brings it right over. Just like that, and then you load her up. 